it's your girl Nicole me and I who have this really pretty flower. We're going to start. Oh my gosh, that was intense. <laughs> It's your girl Nikomi. Wow. And I am back for another unboxing video. I got a special package here all the way from Japan. I have a friend who has this really cute um, business of making Japanese accessories with using string. And it's an art form, I think. I keep forgetting what it's called. Uh, ooh, let me check it out. All right, here it is. The art form is called Mizuhiki. It is a traditional Japanese art of tying knots that uses special cords. And if you check out their uh, Instagram, they have like really cute stuff there. This is their page, Seba Crafts. And as you can see, Seba is actually her pet cat. And that's the Mizuhiki accessory. She's got like earrings, pendants, even necklaces, chokers, hair clips, keychains. It's really cute. Sorry, I'm gonna click on more cat pictures because ah, save us just so cute. Let's check it out. I hope nothing is damaged. Seriously. Sh seriously. Seriously. How do you open this box? Where is the opening? Help! Your girl is still coughing and it's been like several weeks now. I am so sorry. Ooh. Okay, so technically it's just a, an envelope. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, these are actually really <gasps> They look so much bigger in her pictures, but they're so tiny and cute! <laughs> oh, happiness! Check it out! Oh my god! <laughs> to be honest, there was on I only ordered one item, but something happened during our conversation and the discussion got longer and every time she posted something new I was like I ended up getting three I know she worked so hard in all of these so I'm going to review every one of them her, her packaging is the cutest so here is a hairpin represents a cat and the cords she used for this the pink, of course, it's in my system. Gold for bright and shiny. And this is not really white. This is actually a pastel rainbow cord. And it's, she said it reminded her of me. It's so cute. Made with lots of love, especially for the bright and cheerful. Thank you for the support. Thank you, girl. I'm gonna try it on right now. I was also worried about some loose threads, but she used, I think, well, she might have used varnish to hold everything together. So that's just amazing. Oh, it's only for the left side. <laughs> and did you guys know that a hairpin hack, it was a small video showing everyday things that you're using wrong. And one of them is hair clips like this with the jagged edge on top. This is supposed to be the underside of the hairpin. But apparently, my hairpin has this gold plate molded into it, so we're using it like this. Aww, it's so pretty! Thank you! <laughs> Can I just say, I am in love with these earrings. And to be honest, they were not supposed to be earrings when I was discussing this with her. <laughs> they were supposed to be one piece of strand attached to this. So they would look like this geisha hairpins that they put on their hair. 
So I wanted it to create an illusion of like, this is the cat's head, this would be the bell, like this one, and the tassel here would be its tail. And this extra ball could be, you know, the cat's play toy or something. But it looked really cute, so I'm gonna take out my galaxy earrings from Moonlight Creations. Sorry girl, I love your works. But we gotta make room for more because I know I still got some orders from you. <laughs> oh, see, it's so pretty. And what I love about earrings as long as this is because I got short hair. And it works for short-haired girls. Yes, fam, that's also why I'm wearing a cat shirt because everything has to coordinate. <laughs> Okay, I'm so glad that we had a misunderstanding in the conversation. These earrings look so pretty! And if you put them together, it still, it still creates that illusion that I wanted. It's still a cat all the way. <laughs> I love it! Mm -hmm. Because my dearest, dearest, dearest Seba were so nice. They are like the sweetest people in the world. She even gave me something free. How pretty is that? Right? It's still my colors. It's still Pinkie Pie's colors. Pink, yellow, and blue. And you got your cat, so I'm... I'm so happy! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mama! <laughs> okay. Oh, This looks uh, more formal. This one looks more like... Party. I could wear this every day, you know, if you got it, you flaunt it. What about you guys? Can you tell me which one you like best? The shorter one, this one here, or the longer fancy one? Oh, she, she even included a note. Let me see if I can read it. There is Nina. Uh, she calls me Nina. It's like, um... It's Tagalog for godmother. I'm not really her godmother, but like I've known her for so long and she is such a dear to me. She's so she's my precious little godchild in the cosplay community, actually. Thank you so much for your support. My works aren't as perfect as I'd like them to be. So it means so much that you let me make this for you. Thank you and take care always. Love you and Seba. Thank you you <laughs> i know you worked so hard on all of these i know it takes time for such a craft to be uh, perfect and sometimes imperfect but you know you grow with it so if there was anything wrong in the making of these girl don't worry about it i loved how it turned out you know it was maybe a blessing in disguise it really still achieved the look I wanted to get, so even if it wasn't exactly what I wanted her to make, it was still as good. Have you liked the video yet? I know you guys want to see more. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down here. Hey, join the notification squad too. Don't forget that notification bell so you can be updated with my new videos. This is your girl Nikoni. It's really tight. It, I mean, <laughs> you can tell which one's my favorite. <laughs>